Hello, hello, my dear friend. My name is Yola Aljegbir, and if you're here, you're probably interested in how to be endo-free. And I have to tell you that I managed to do it after 20 years, so please keep on watching because I'm going to uh, walk you through absolutely amazing steps, and few of them you can implement just straight away after watching this video, and it's going to be literally no fluff, no unnecessary things, and no additional investment. So please, please, please keep on watching because you're going to benefit greatly from this very short video because I don't know why no one is talking about it but I'm here hey I'm here so they told you many lies many many lies I'm sure they told you already is incurable no one ever get cured from endometriosis there is no cure whatsoever and it's nothing you can do literally nothing and and uh, no one ever got better. Oh, no, they never tell you, you know, about the people who managed to put endometriosis into remission. Like, apparently, we don't exist. Even though when you go to the Google or go to the YouTube, and if you can type, I healed from endometriosis, or I put my endo into remission, you can see tens of thousand testimonials, but, but apparently, we don't exist. Psh, the best kept secret. No one ever gets better. You can't control it apparently you can't control it so the best thing they want you to do is to to give everything your money your efforts and everything into their hands and by there i'm talking about the big pharma and just rely on their amazing uh, drugs for you to heal because it's absolutely you can you have no control over it which is a bullshit another lie is just drug and surgery from now on do, can you relate to that? Uh, they're telling you, oh, now you have to be on special medication and you have to go back and forward to the surgery because it keeps coming back. Oh, well, it didn't in my case and it didn't with many girls' cases. And I'm going to tell you, it doesn't have to come back. Another lie, you cannot be a mother. Apparently, uh, girls with endometriosis, uh, they are being told that we cannot be mother uh, and, you know, our fertility is going to drop and it's just impossible to be a mother from now on, which gets a lot of very young girls depressed. Because let's face it, maybe you don't consider a maternity just now, but in a couple of years, you would like to have a baby. And it's kind of depressing diagnosis. But I'm going to tell you it's a lie. Another lie? you have to be a mother yeah i know it's contradiction here but they don't see it this way they just telling you this lies you have to be mother only by getting pregnant you can cure endometriosis big bullshit girl don't listen to it another lie it's a mystery illness so many years and we don't know where it's come from what triggers it uh, what to do to get better really Maybe that would help if uh, some researcher will actually focus on things that work, like, for example, uh, conducting research uh, based on girls who managed to put it in remission, because obviously we managed to do something right, but instead tens of thousands of pounds and the dollars are going on absolutely useless researches, which, um, for example, one of them was uh, researching how many sexual partners and the girls have. The absolutely irrelevant. And another was, was rating attractiveness of uh, patients with endometriosis. The why would you even do that? No wonder we are in the big bloody limbo if this is where you're focusing your attention in, isn't it? And uh, another one, uh, which I also mentioned, you will have to have multiple uh, surgeries because the one is not enough. So just prepare yourself for going back and forth, back and forth. And how do I know these were lies? Because I live with endometriosis for long 20 years. And now I'm fourth year endo-free. Absolutely no symptoms, no endometriosis, no endo scar tissues, like absolutely nothing, all confirmed by uh, my gynecologist who actually gave me blessing and told me, Yola, please do whatever you, you're doing because I don't want to see you. Well, I don't want to see her either. And I'm sure that no one of you want to see your gynecologist and, you know, the surgeon all the time. We don't want to. We just want to have our lives back. This is basically all we want. How I know? Because 
that was my reality. So very shortly, this is my story. I suffered from endometriosis for over 20 years, which means two decades. Girl, this is hell long of a time. 20 years is a long time. I had four surgeries, three laparoscopies, one laparotomy, which was the doctor mistake. Yeah, basically in my small village in Poland, they thought that it's okay to diagnose endometriosis with laparotomy. So they opened all my um, stomach and I was healing badly for many, many weeks. That was absolutely unnecessary because all they had to do is the laparoscopy. I don't know if they didn't have uh, equipment or they didn't know, but hey. Uh, multiple lost pregnancies, multiple cysts. Some of them I managed to heal naturally. Uh, usually that was the smallest cyst from one to two and a half centimeters, but um, the bigger one, uh, two centimeters and up, up to six centimeters, I had to have removed by the surgery. Uh, a few of them burst, which was absolutely horrendous experience. If you want to know uh, how to uh, heal a small cyst, please uh, let me know uh, in the comment section below or write uh, to me. I'm going to drop you uh, the uh, my email address and I'm going to drop you my uh, channel, YouTube channel because I had their uh, masterclass which you can watch absolutely for free. It's got over, uh, over 6,000 uh, people watch it already in just a few months so it's, it's really really helpful. But as I said I managed to heal only small cysts. I have to be very transparent with that. Okay. Uh, diagnosed with endometriosis stage 4 because as you know endo had four stages, the four is the more advanced. Uh, I had uh, endometriosis diagnosed into my lungs, which was absolutely horrendous experience and all over my intestines. I was also diagnosed with IBS uh, because uh, as the later I found out the many, many years of uh, taking anti-inflammatory drugs and um, all the medicine just and the poor diet just literally destroyed my gut so i had to rebuild it from the scratches so i've been there also and i spent tens of thousands uh, of pounds on surgery on the supplement on all miracles cures that lead to absolutely nowhere you know all this med amazing herbs and you know all this amazing frameworks what the gurus tells you, which leads to absolutely nowhere. And I'm just ordinary and the girl, literally pissed off, <laughs> pissed off with uh, everything because I see so many girls are get, they, getting diagnosed, but there is not enough said about how can you put this uh, illness into remission, which is... I don't know why is it because so many of us are doing it. That's why I'm doing this masterclass for you. So you don't have to uh, just walk like I was walking literally in the darks, uh, in the darkness, trying to get from one thing to another, hoping this thing will work and this one didn't. You know, that's why this masterclass is for you. Okay. So for who is this masterclass? It's for you if you suspect that you have endometriosis. Maybe uh, it's been a while and you experience some of endo symptoms and you're thinking, damn it, what if I have it? What to do next? You know, this is good for you. You were diagnosed with endometriosis. So if you were diagnosed with endo and you are living with it for a couple of years, maybe like me, even 20, then please keep on watching. You know someone who is affected with endometriosis. Please keep on watching also because I want you to take whatever um, the, the most important uh, information from this masterclass and tell maybe you tell your wife maybe you tell your sister maybe you tell your work colleague every one out of ten girls walking in this earth already has endometriosis this is the global pandemic of endo so it's very very likely that you know somebody so please keep on watching because this kind of information are not available in the mainstream so we just the girls who managed to heal, we just have to uh, try to reach other girls and try to help this way, okay? And if you tried everything and nothing worked before, even like me for 20 years, please don't give up. Watch this and I'm going to tell you it will make so much sense for you. Everything, little pieces going to click in 
and even if you don't want to work with me even if you don't want to buy anything what i'm selling and by the way this is not a pitch there will be no pitch in this uh, masterclass whatsoever i'm not going to offer anything nothing at all <laughs> even if you uh just gonna go separate way after watching this video please research every single step okay because that will get you closer uh, to your healthy self and this is my main goal here okay so why is this different i know there's so much noise and there's so much health coaches especially now after the pandemic <laughs> when so many people decided to be a health coach um i started in 2019 so that was before the coronavirus and since then I managed to get some re amazing results. So why is this different and why my program is different than another? First of all, experience. Two decades of experience. I don't just study endometriosis like so many endo coaches who just study the subject. I literally live with it. I live and breathe with endo for 20 years. I woke up with endo. I went sleep with endo for all 20 years. I know it inside out. I know what works and what didn't because I done it everything on myself, on my own body. That's why it took me so long, you know, but this is the experience no one can take away from me. That's why I know what you want. I can totally 100% relate and I can get you where you want to be. Okay. So experience, 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 proven system. This 20 years actually give me the framework because I managed to, I keep on track on things that didn't work. So I'm not going to give you anything what didn't work for me or for my clients. I actually work six months for free, helping 37 girls to uh, get healthy. And girl, I'm going to tell you the, the results are absolutely amazing. You can see the testimonials on my Instagram uh, by Al Jagbir, uh, or you can even drop me an email and I can point it out to you, to the girls <laughs> and you can talk with them and ask them a question by yourself. I'm absolutely transparent with this. I'm so happy to say that many, many of my clients managed to uh, put endo and keep endo into remission and uh, managed to even and reverse all the symptoms, get rid of all the symptoms and even get pregnant. Yes, one girl got pregnant while working with me. And I was a little bit sad because I didn't yet. <laughs> but I'm very happy for my clients and proven system is the one thing which makes me different because it's proven by you girls. <laughs> and another thing what makes it different that there is no fluff and the path is so easy to follow. What, what I mean by that, there is no additional investments. Do you remember, like, for example, you enroll to one program and then they want you to upgrade to something and they want you to spend money on some supplements or some, you know, some like analyzing your hair or things. There is no such a thing here. There's no such a thing in one on one working with me or in my online courses. There is no fluff. Just the absolutely essential, necessary things you have to do and implement to get better. Okay. And it's so damn easy to follow. So even if you have absolutely no idea of uh, epigenetics, for example, or nutritionists, if you don't have any medical background and you just get diagnosed, this is perfect for you because it's so easy to follow. And why it works. Hmm? Why? because we are going to focus on hormones and every single and the girl have too high estrogen so we have to tackle this okay if we manage to lower the estrogen then endometriosis very likely will go away and you can control your hormones naturally there's a lot of drugs that can control your hormones and very likely if you were already diagnosed with endometriosis your doctor put you on the pill in order to you know uh, make you not menstruate and make your hormones not fluctuate up and down but there is other way you can do it absolutely naturally why it works because we are going to focus on diet as well yeah this is the big 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 part because we are contributing to our illness without even knowing it and endometriosis thrives where is the inflammation and there is inflammatory illness 
not many people talk about it. What that means, that by getting rid of inflammation, and yes, you can do it 100% naturally, you are going to get rid of all your symptoms. How amazing is that? Just by implementing diet, anti-inflammatory diet. So this is essential. Why it works? Because we are going to focus on the mindset because you cannot heal body you hate and you have to do some solid mindset work. Otherwise, you are going to self-sabotage yourself and you're going to be back to the point one. And those who are living with endo for many years, you can relate that probably you know what to do, but you just don't do it. And why you don't do it and why you have problem with implementing? Because there are some subconscious blocks there and we have to get rid of them. We have to work on it. And only then you can truly and 100% heal. It's doable. Girl, if I manage to do it, you manage to do it 100%. I can assure you, we are not that different. Our body operates uh, on the same systems. Just the speed of healing is a little bit different with every person, but we are more alike than different. And implementation, because the process is so easy to follow that you literally cannot get wrong by implementing it. You cannot get wrong, <laughs> seriously. And the results will very much surprise you, very much surprise you. So it's really, really worth of uh, taking some time. And how does it look with percentage? They never make research about um, girls uh, who manage to put endo into remission because as I mentioned before, apparently we don't exist. But from my own research and from my own data, which I uh, made by working with a client or with those girls who are following me, I know that 25% girls uh, are discovering life after endometriosis, while 75% of us feel stuck and thinks that there is no way out. And I want to reach those 75%. And I cannot do it without your help. So if you find this video helpful at the end, please share it with others because we have to reach many, many girls and we have to heal. You know, the big pharma is literally failing us. The doctors are failing us. We have to reach each other every possible way. So please help me to do that, okay? And now a little bit imagination time. Imagine the life with no bloating, how that would be. Like you can feel sexy every single day. You can watch yourself while you're walking next to the shop and you know that there is no stupid endo belly sticking out. You can go for the date and you can wear this dress and you can know that you look absolutely amazing. And there is no stupid mood swings before your period and no stupid cravings and no pain and no cramps and no flare ups, no drugs, no more spending money on bloody drugs, hospital surgeries. Imagine how does it feel to get your life back, your life before endo. I know it's amazing because this is all I wanted to get my old self back. And if you want the same, please keep on watching because this can happen and this is how, okay? So first step you have to do is decide. All starts with firm decision. My life literally changed when I decided that I will heal and I will do everything what it takes. Absolutely no excuses. I was so fed up with my own bullshit. I was so fed up with struggling and just barely existing, not living. Can you relate? And everything changed when I make this one decision. I just told myself, I cannot carry on like this. I have to heal. From now on, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to heal. And you guys, just give me a strength because I will need a lot of it. But I promise I will do whatever it takes to heal. And if you make the firm decision now, if you don't make it, your subconscious mind will think, oh, it's not that important. Okay. So if you don't make a decision, then you are very likely to self-sabotage yourself your uh, subconscious mind will give you 2000 reasons of why not to stick to it. So you have to know, you have to decide and know your why, why you're doing this. This is the first step. And you can do this step today, by the way, you can decide just now. 
okay? Step number two, accept. Accept where you are just now, okay? And by accepting, it doesn't mean to agree with it. I don't want you to agree, okay, from now on, my life is life with endometriosis. Uh, from now on, I can just uh, learn how to live with it. No, acceptance means knowing where you are to be able to move forward. Because knowing, only by knowing where, where you're standing, you can move forward. And I know by my own experience that we tend to ignore the illness. We are either going one way that we are literally obsessed with endometriosis and we're searching for the ways and blah, 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 everything. Or we are going to ignore it. No, this illness is not going to stop me. Like if you're a high achiever like me, <laughs> no, this illness is not going to stop me. I'm still going to be the same productive. I still going to have, uh, you know, that much energy as I used to have. And well, the cramps and pain, I'm going to take a painkillers. Girl, it's not going to work. Okay, pretending and that it doesn't exist and ignoring your illness, not gonna take you to help. This what happened to you is a sign that you have to look closely to what you're doing and to your own health because everything happened to you and for you, okay? It's not just random coincidences that you're watching this video and not random coincidences that you got endometriosis. The universe, God is trying to tell you something. Just please open your ears and listen, okay? So only when you accept where you are now, you will be able to move forward. It's like, for example, when you uh, putting the sad enough uh, navigation to take you from one point A to point B, you have to know where are you because you cannot move forward without knowing where is another step. Do you understand? This thing you can do just now. You can accept where you are and just basically make a big breath and acknowledge, okay, I've got endometriosis now. I'm not endometriosis. This is just temporary. I'm going to get better, but I accept that I need to give my body the extra time, the extra love and extra effort. I accept that now I'm not really healthy. Now I'm healing. Okay. So this acceptance part is very, very important, girl. Otherwise, you're just going to self-sabotage. Another important one, dissociate. Yep, you are not your diagnosis. So please stop using words such as my endometriosis, my illness. And I know I used to do it all the time. You know, my friends used to call me, Yola, come out with us, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, no, I'm feeling so tired. It's just my endometriosis. Do you know? Why are you claiming it as yours? Whatever you claim as yours will stay. Don't claim it as yours, you know? Like, for example, this is the subconscious uh, mind speaking. Like, you're talking about my children, my husband, because you associated with part of you. Part of you. You wouldn't say the children or the husband. They are yours. There's something would you cherish and something would you carry in your heart. So why would you carry this disease? It's just temporary, girl. So please, from now on, be mindful of how do you talk to yourself, okay? No more my endometriosis. No more my illness. No more pity parties. Like, and by this, I mean, like, the communities of the Ender Girls. And I used to be in one. I used to be in Ender Forum. And it was the biggest pity party. Seriously, it, it, it was just literally like competition who, whose life sucks the most. <laughs> Can you relate? Like one girl said, oh, I had a flare up and another said, oh, I know how you feel. My day sucks. And in this kind of pity party communities, you're not going to find help. You are not because what you are giving energy expands. So don't give energy to this illness, okay? And if you have description or your Instagram or your Facebook, chronically ill Amelia or endo, uh, I don't know, Alice, please change it. Change it now. Dissociate from this illness completely, okay? This is the step you can do just now. So three steps you can literally do right now to make first steps towards health.
Another very important thing, change your diet because this is the key. As I said, uh, endo is inflammatory illness and we have to get rid of the inflammation completely. So what is the anti-inflammatory diet? If you're following my YouTube channel, you know that I make a lot of videos around it. I even uh, have a playlist, uh, things to avoid. So please uh, go to uh, YouTube, uh, Yola Aljak Beer and just watch those videos. Uh, or you can sign up to my online course, which I take you uh, through every single week. I'm going to tell you what to implement in which week you're going to have a homework and I'm going to be literally there with you. It costs only 35 pounds because unlike other coaches, I want it to be accessible for every single girl. I'm going to link it in the comment section below or somewhere there. So please check it out. So what is anti-inflammatory diet? Why it's important? because endo is inflammatory illness and by eliminating inflammation we can in eliminate all the symptoms all the symptoms which is the bloating which is the endo belly uh, which is the chronic fatigue uh, even pain painful periods even cramps as well so it's pretty good if you ask me it's worth rich, literally trying so what is actually anti-inflammatory diet and what to remove uh, remove refined sugar because this is what makes uh, you flare up. There is no dairy, no gluten, no processed food, no bad refined oils, you know. And if you want the endometriosis checklist with the most powerful food, which you can start using to get out of inflammation as quick as possible, please drop me an email. I'm going to leave my private email somewhere down below. So please just don't hesitate. I'm a friend. Okay. I'm not just the, the, the guru in high, high castle. <laughs> I'm your friend, so please just email me and I'm going to send it to you for free, okay? So now I want you to know that anti-inflammatory diet, endo diet is the key. So please research it and implement it because it's going to actually change your life. Very important thing, stick with it. I know we are living in constant gratification time when we want things to happen quickly, 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 quickly. But you have to understand that it took time to get you to this point. Okay, this endo didn't happen from Monday to Tuesday. Very likely we work hard for it. That means that we need some time to undo the damage. Okay, it's not going to happen overnight. I'm not going to lie to you. But it won't take years as well. It will take the months let's say months but uh, amazing thing will happen in the meantime like for example i uh, remember uh, that before uh, i get rid of all the cramps and all the pains i could uh, for example after one week all my nose get unblocked because i had the problem with sinuses then my skin get clear uh, then my endo belly will start disappearing and I was like, what the hell? Even the bloating from my fingers and from my ears, because I had such a bloated, you know, every, everything get out. Then my bowel movements improved and my uh, gut healed. And then the period came and it wasn't painful at all. And then there was absolutely no cramps. So I literally had to mark my calendar to know when I've got a period because a few di because uh, before I knew it's coming because I had the worst PMS. My face was covered with acne and I had the worst cramps ever. And now I just literally have to mark calendar because I don't even know when it's coming <laughs> because it's without any symptoms whatsoever. So very important thing, stick with it, okay? Don't expect it to happen overnight, but it will happen. I promise to you it will. And in meantime, you will see so many small things that I just want you to celebrate, you know, because they, they are the signs that your body is healing and it's amazing. Another step, very important one, you have to look very closely to your trauma because as you can see endometriosis is linked to childhood abuse hmm. and is associated with feelings such as blame shame lack of self-love first uh, to be able to heal your body you have to heal your soul everything is connected and you can't heal body that you hate so i'm sorry you cannot escape this you are going to work on your trauma 
and for those girls uh, who signed up to uh, my online course healing mindset you know uh, all the tricks and all the patterns and how to get rid of uh, self-limiting beliefs the things which self-sabotaging and also how to do the shadow work and work on your trauma i'm qualified hypnotherapist so in my coaching i'm also using uh, nf uh, hypnotherapy as well as tapping so that's the the tools which can help you massively okay i want you to be aware of this because this is the very very so many times this is the missing ingredient because so many girls are focusing only on diets and then they cannot heal and they are like but why i'm doing everything i'm eating right and there's literally no progress it's because you didn't heal what is inside and you cannot heal the body you hate it never works okay so from now on even if you decide not to work with me i want you to google this endometriosis and childhood abuse so you can see the research by yourself and you can be aware that there is the link and there is the connection the connection that we cannot skip another amazing thing which you can do and implement now to get rid of the endo is forgive forgiveness is the highest form of self-love and as you know you cannot heal body you hate so we have to practice a lot of self-love here you have to forgive yourself for not knowing like me i didn't know for 20 years and i just had to forgive myself for this okay i had to forgive myself for neglecting my body then i have to forgive my body i remember when i was doing this forgiveness exercises and when i put the hands on my belly and i said i forgive you i love you i just literally cry because i hated my endo belly so much that i even avoid touching it in the shower you know so you have to forgive your body and for treating this your body as an instrument as a to-do list like if my body do this and that i'm gonna love it no it doesn't work like that my love it doesn't work like that and you have to forgive others and I mean doctors who are uh, ghosting you, who are telling you it's all in your head, who are uh, not uh, giving 100% attention to your problems, who are just trying to minimize it and tells you that, oh, it's like every woman goes through it, it's normal, it's not. You have to forgive the health professionals like I did. I had like butchered surgery. They also put me on a experimental uh, t um, tablets, anticonception tablets that literally ruined my health and lead me to uh, IBS. So yes, I had to forgive the health professionals as well. There is a lot to forgive, girl. Another thing, and I promise we are going to the end of the list of all the things you have to do to be endo free synchronized with your rhythms we girls have two rhythms which is infradian and circadian and if you're working with me one-on-one -on -one, we are going through it and uh, you will receive the custom made plan how can you actually synchronize with your rhythm if you signed up to my online course which costs only 35 pounds <laughs> then you can also see it because I'm talking about it and you've got special masterclass how to do it step by step. Basically, you need to know that you've got two rhythms and you have to synchronize with them because that depends. They are literally ruling your hormones. So by not uh, living in sync with your infradian rhythm, for example, you can affect your hormones, you can affect your ovulation, and that can lead to a progressive endometriosis. So that's very, very important. Another thing, detox your beauty, because it's not enough to tell you it this and that and that uh, when uh, you are literally messing with your hormones by choosing the very crappy cosmetics so basically get rid of all the cosmetics that contain endocrine disturbing ingredients which are messing with your estrogen levels you know every single endo girl have too high estrogen you have to be very mindful and how to do it there is a lot of app free apps just put uh, on the google app store or anywhere else just uh, type um because uh, application that uh, analyze the 
contents of the cosmetics or something like that type it in google there's so many free apps basically they work like this you just have your thing you scan it and it shows you if it's contain endocrine disturbance so please go through all the cosmetics you have and eliminate every every single one which mess with your hormones just be mindful okay and get accountability partner and ask for help this is the last thing you see i didn't ask for help <laughs> that's why it took me 20 years that's why it took me long 20 years and because in my times there was no coaches no endo coaches and the girls who got better, they kept quiet <laughs> for some reason. So I didn't have the opportunity that you have. Okay. So get accountability partner. It doesn't have to be a coach. It can be your best friend who will help you to implement. You basically tell this person your goals and this person is going to be your, uh, you know, it's going to check on you all the time. If you're working with me one-on-one, don't worry. I'm the biggest Jehovah Witness. I will literally show up every single way to make sure you implement and you get results. And ask for help. Don't be, uh, you know, ashamed of asking for help. And don't see other uh, girls who managed to uh, get rid of uh, endometriosis don't see us as a gurus. I know many uh, girls position themselves as a gurus. I don't. I'm just ordinary girl who is just one step in ahead of you. Just one step. Okay. There's still many things I don't know. And there's still many things I'm healing. And, you know, I don't claim to be better than you. I'm just ordinary girl. So please ask for help. If you want to work with me one on one, please drop me an email in the comment section. There's my email address. Just let me know and inquire for the price. If you think the price is too high and you can't afford it, please inquire anyway. I don't discriminate uh, towards anyone. And those girls who work with me, they know that I'm very flexible when it comes to payment uh, plans. I really am. So please get in touch anyway, okay? And uh, you can work with me by uh, purchasing my online courses. There's one biohacking endometriosis, which is gonna walk you through step by step uh, for uh, every every single thing you have to do to put your endo into remission when it comes to nutrition and when it comes to endo diet i literally draw the plan what you have to uh, eliminate what you have to give in you know at in every single week for four weeks so you cannot get wrong with this and on top of that i'm gonna also offer unlimited help via email so every single time you stack every single time you've got a question you can reach to me in email and i'm here for you with as many questions as you might have okay and my another online course which uh, is just launched uh, which is the healing mindset will gonna uh, take you through all the things you have to do in order to implement what you just learned uh, all the things you know all the work with your subconscious minds just to make sure that you don't self-sabotage yourself again all the shadow works all the release work and you're gonna be just the whole new person it's very very personal uh, course and um it's cost a little bit more than biohacking and endometriosis which is just 35 pounds because it's not for everyone so if you feel like the mindset is the missing ingredient of your uh, healing process please get it i hope this helped oh my god i've been here 38 minutes but i just want to make sure that i cover every single step so even for the person who don't um, decide to work with me or to buy my online courses even those people can actually do their own research and go move forward if you like it please share it with everyone so we can all come together and heal together as always i love you so much and i can't wait to hear your feedback Bye.